Assalamu alaikum, uh, welcome to Atha Declares, uh, brought to you by Spahani and uh, Akash uh, DTH. Uh, please do like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Another fantastic day for Bangladesh in the batting department. Remember, 302 for 2 yesterday and a very good partnership, a big partnership of 150 runs, unbeaten partnership between Nazmul and Shanto who picked up his maiden test match 100 and Mumin Lohak unbeaten on 64 and they started in a similar kind of fashion yes Sri Lanka bowled in good areas they showed a lot more discipline so it was difficult to score runs quickly but uh, the partnership between uh, Nazmul Hussain Shanto and uh, Mumin Lohak the skipper went uh, bigger and bigger yeah they took a little bit time they were uh, uh, Pretty decent with the bat. Initially, when the ball was uh, you know, pitched in the right areas, uh, so they started to take those single step, with, uh, playing with softer hands and uh, picking up singles here and there. So they kept the scoreboard uh, ticking. Not a lot of boundaries initially in the first hour, but then uh, they started to play a little bit more freely. Yes, uh, Nazmul Hussain Shanto went past 150. You know, he looks a very good prospect. I said that yesterday. And as a youngster, he's only 22 years of age. He's just sh showing that he belongs in the longest format. And he's making a very good statement with the bat. So it'll be a very good days ahead, hopefully, for Nazbul San Shanto and Bangladesh. Uh, Mumin ul uh, eventually went on to pick up his 11th Test Match 100. Uh, you hardly notice him when he's batting because he just keeps on uh, picking up runs at ease. Uh, we'll uh, pick up an odd boundary here and there. And he picked up his 11th Test Match 100. So congratulations to the skipper, Mumin ul Haq, for uh, leading from the front and uh, for his 11th Test Match 100. And also, importantly, his very first Test Match 100 away from home. So wonderful, wonderful display of batsmanship from both these two batsmen. Yeah, the score of... of 394 when uh, Nazmul Shanto chipped one back to the bowler. I thought the ball stopped, so he just uh, took him by surprise. He went aerial and a good return catch from Kumara of his own bowling to send uh, Nazmul Hussain Shanto for 163. Yes, uh, partnership broken, massive partnership, very big partnership. Uh, 242 runs. I just want everybody to understand that test match cricket is all about uh, how long you'll be able to bat. Nazmus Hussain Shanto batted for more than 8 hours, 8 hours and 46 minutes. He faced 378 deliveries for 163 runs, a typical test match innings. And coming from a youngster who's only 22 years of age, he's just uh, showing to the others waiting uh, uh, that the bench strength uh, and the people who will play for Bangladesh in future in test match cricket that's exactly what uh, they should be looking forward to do even Momin ul Haq took a long time he played 304 deliveries when he got himself out caught in the slips scoring 127 again number of deliveries is so very crucial 304 deliveries beautiful to watch beautiful to see both these batsmen understanding each other understanding their role and the responsibility you talk about the long innings you talk about spending time in the middle you talk about short selection you talk about getting organized both these batsmen showed that and also solid in defense especially Nazmul Hussain Shanto which has been the key feature of his batting yes the Sri Lankans did bowl well as I mentioned earlier and there was a little bit of turn available for the spinners so which should be a good sign for Bangladesh because they'll be hoping that as the day as the game progresses in day three and four there will be a little bit more wear and tear and there will be should be more purchase for the spinners Medias and Miraj and uh, Taijul Islam will be looking very closely what or how the pitch behaves three seamers also in the end 474 for four bit of a couple of delays a little bit of drizzle 
So they st at stumps, uh, Bangladesh managed to score 474 for four with uh, Mr. Dependable unbeaten on 43 and Liton Kumadas also chipping it with 25. A partnership of 50 runs already in the making and they'll be hoping that they can go and get a really big partnership. And Bangladesh did struggle in test match cricket, especially against West Indies. So it's important for, for them to realize that they do well from here on and still three more days to go it's still a long way to go so i would want them to bat as much as possible and uh, make sure that they don't bat the second time around and that's uh, one of the reasons why i feel if they can manage to do that then at least the, the draw is on the card which is still a very good result for bangladesh yes they are on the driving seat and uh, teams uh, in, in these kind of position with 474 runs on the board with six wickets in hand, they would be feeling how to press on and press on to win this test match. We'll have to wait and see, but certainly and surely Bangladesh is on the driving seat.